Hi, I'm making a short video here just to show you how to get the electrical system into the electronics caddy. Uh, it's not very hard. It's actually much easier to show you in a video than it is to make a whole bunch of diagrams. We are going to make diagrams. We're working on them, but uh, for now, just to tide people over, I'm just going to make this short video. So here's the electronics caddy. Uh, it's got two sides to it. The battery side. Battery's going to sit there. Bluetooth module is going to slide in there. On the bottom side, it's going to sit like this on the robot. On the bottom side we have a slot for the nano and in the middle a slot for the servo controller. And there's these bars that get inserted into uh, two little sockets. One of them is already in. You want them this way. You don't want them this way. These nubs help hold the um, components, the boards, in the right place uh, so they don't uh, move around or things like that. And uh, this one's already inserted, but I'll show you how to do this one. You just take those two little fork prongs on the bottom there and line them up with the hole. You may have to squeeze them a little to get them started. Just squeeze them between your thumb and forefinger. And then you push, and they snap right in. And there's little slots on the sides, and little nubs expand uh, so they, they can't get up. Yeah, they're actually quite difficult to remove once they're in. Uh, if you need to remove them, I would suggest poking one of the little uh, tongs, one of the little uh, fork prongs with a tool, like a hex key, and while you're poking that, uh, wiggle it out, because you can actually break these, uh, get them out. There's technical reasons why we made this in three pieces. We could not really make it as one single piece like this, because the layers would go this way, and then when this bends, this needs to bend this way, they would tend to snap off at the layer boundaries. Now, uh, let's put in the servo controller. And you'll notice that I twisted, before I plugged these two wires in, the, uh, the wires coming from the Nano to the servo controller, I just gave, gave all these wires like one and a half twists, and that just takes up some of the slack and keeps the wires together. Um, now to put this, you're going to put this in the middle. The wires are coming out one end, so obviously you can't do that. So you've got to put it, whoops, I'll get out of the way. You've got to insert it like this. I'm trying to turn it. Normally I would do this more upside down, but I'm trying to turn it so you can see. You insert it like this. Just push it in. And you might have to wiggle the retaining bar a little bit. You might have to wiggle a little bit. But it goes in there, and then those little nubs on the retaining bar kind of keep it in place so it doesn't work its way loose. Next you do the Nano. Now the Nano, the USB port, is going to be going in last. So we're going to go, the non-USB side goes in first and just tip it up so that these uh, this header, this ICSP header, goes in the big slot here. And again, when you're putting it in, you may need to wiggle a little bit. I'm making, I'm making life harder for myself by trying to show everything to the camera. You may need to go in there and pull that out a little bit with your finger, but it goes in eventually. Not too hard. Now you'll notice that in this design you have you still have access to this USB port uh, without taking the robot apart. So once this is screwed down, that USB port is still going to be visible. And uh, you'll be able to get to it in, if you wanted to do debugging or, or whatever, or you wanted to reflash a new version of uh, uh, firmware or whatever you want to do. And then the USB, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Bluetooth module, oops, tangle up in wires here get it free of all the wires. It comes in the back here. And it's important you do it this way because when you insert it this way and there's a hole there that's going to show you the Bluetooth status light. And sometimes if you don't have a connection you can look to see is that light blinking the right way to say you've got a connection or is it not. Now once you've got all that together uh, you take find, find the, uh, the battery plug the JST male battery plug and make sure that that's up so that uh, I've done this a few times where I put this on top and I said oh, the battery plug is buried under there so the battery plug has to be free now if you look at the whole pattern there's only one way this can go on it's got to go this way because there's one two three four five holes on top and there's five matching holes and there's like missing holes over here so there's only one way this can go so you got to bring the bring the battery plug up right where the on off switches. That's a good place to put it. Make sure the servo wires are tucked in 
and they're not like on top of the little screw hole mounts and a couple of the screw hole mounts have tabs and a couple of them take screws so here that one's a tab and that one's a tab but these three are screws so now I have access to my battery plug so I can plug my battery in and I would put one two three screws in there sometimes I just put in one screw or two screws you don't necessarily need all three um, but uh, you know especially if you're still debugging things or you're not sure it's gonna work or something so that's it it's not that hard and you see that you get a nice I mean I don't have any screws with me right now but you get a nice neat package everything's together all the wires are hidden down there um, and you're ready to plug a battery in and then adjust your legs and take it from there